Shabbat Shalom, family and Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael. Come back again, particularly on this Shabbat day eve, with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from Ecclesiasticus chapter 39. I'll be reading from Ecclesiasticus chapter 39. And I read, But he that gives his mind to the law of Yahweh and is occupied in meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the angels, be occupied in prophecy. He will keep the same of the renowned men. And where some parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secret of great citizens and be first in dark parables. He does serve among great men and beautiful princes. He will travel to strange countries where he will the good and the evil among men. He will give his heart to the earth beyond that made him and will pray before the most high and will open his mouth in prayer and make supplication for his sin. I read that to say this. The assembly of Yahweh and of his beloved son Yeshua of Nazareth lives by the whole book. Yahweh's true assembly do not live by part of the book. We live by the whole book. As our Messiah and our soon coming King Yeshua said to the adversary, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of his mouth. For that cause, we live by the whole book. We live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahweh. If you, if you want, if I want eternal life, we must live according to every word that's written in the word of Yahweh. As is written again by beloved brother Shaul of Tarsus. What sort of, what sort of thing were written the four times were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the spirit may have expectation. And it is written again. All scriptures given by inspiration of Yahweh. And it's written again. Knowing this verse, there's no prophecy of the script by, by is by private interpretation, but set apart men of Yahweh spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So the true assembly of Yahweh, we live by the whole book. We live by the whole book. The feast days are mandated of Yahweh to be observed. The dietary instructions are mandated of Yahweh to be observed. Yahweh commands for us to be reconciled unto him. And his chosen means of reconciliation is his beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Meaning you must take on the nature and the spirit of Yeshua of Nazareth. And we do that by the new birth, by being born again. And to be born again, you must repent of your sins. You must be baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for both the pardon of your sins and for the regeneration of your soul. And you must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits you to speak. And we must live faithfully according to what's written in the whole book, not part of the book. Old Testament not done away with. The New Testament not, not irrelevant. But we live by the whole book. So I urge whosoever will turn from philosophies and ideas and schools of thought to tell you that we either live by part of the book or just a certain section of the book. And embrace the word of Yahweh that instructs us to live by every word of Yahweh. Every word that seeds out of Yahweh's mouth. 
We're in the last new days. It's time to get right with Yahweh. It's time to repent of your sins. It's time to be baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of your sins, for the village of your soul. It's time to tarry, time to seek Yahweh till he fill you with the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permit you to speak. Time to cut out the foolishness. Time to cut out the wickedness. Time to run for your life into the tower of Yahweh. What is his name? It's time to give your life to Yahweh. As is written again, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies. They present your bodies what? A living sacrifice that is set apart and accessible unto Yahweh. And you be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And renew your mind by every word of Yahweh. O Yahweh, in the name of your beloved Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray that you exalt your word to your servant. May you let your word touch the hearts of your chosen. And you draw them to you uh, by your word. I thank you, O Yahweh, for allowing your servant to speak, to exalt your ho holy and beautiful name of Yahweh. That you demonstrate in the life of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Love y'all, Yahweh. So be it, so be it. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.